Hello everyone, my name is Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Dear Monster. We're in the last episode, we began Embrace's Root. Yes, at last, at last. Oh, I'm excited, you guys. This is going to be great. Alright, we end up in a forest. We weren't even on the ground floor, but the door closes behind us and here it is. That's incredible. Empress, can you see that? These butterflies glow. And those ruins. They look like they were made by elves or, or fairies. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. Where are we? Probably in some pocket dimension. I've got a couple of them in my castle. As forest as possible, but it's nothing compared to the ones in my domain. Wait. You have a castle? Did you think I was a peasant human? What kind of a ruler doesn't have a castle? Also, <laughs> in the last episode, um, I was chatting with Coco in the comments and... Was it in the comments? I don't know, somehow it came up and Coco kind of uh, made me think and I was like, Holy crap, Embers is totally a himbo. <laughs> I never thought of that and I was like oh you're totally right and that's so funny to me how I never thought of that because because he's not an idiot but he's also not like the smartest guy either <laughs> he's kind of oh uh, you'll see as we progress but he, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed he's he's kind of a, a goofball sometimes and I, I love him so much for it oh and he's also kind of a Cinderella too. We've you've seen hints of it. I'm I'm just so happy to be on his route. <sighs> I love him. I love him. Ah, why? <laughs> the fact he's a redhead doesn't help me. Okay, I I have such a weakness for redheads, and so does Coco. That that's why it's like, Coco. He's he's perfect. He's perfect for us. Except you know sometimes he's a a douche, but we can we can we can fix him. <laughs> Oh, that, that meme exists for a reason, okay? The whole, I can fix him. <laughs> he's, he may be a dragon, but he's very cat-like, okay? He's just like a little cat. Like a little... Like he just... He has his claws and he's he's very like... You know? He just needs... He needs some petting. He just needs to be tamed. <laughs> he has his, his moments. He's like, come on, calm down, kitty. <laughs> Get down from there. He's really cute. Adorable. It's okay, kitty. It's okay. The president? Wait, that's not the point. And what is this president supposed to be? It's the head of the country that people vote for. I mean, it depends on what country you're from, but yeah. You vote for your leader? But how can you be sure you won't choose the greatest liar? Oh no, we're getting political. Uh. Do you possess spells against trickery? Oh, I wish, I wish. Uh, no. Basically, it's about listening to what they have to say and fact-checking what they actually do. But I guess it's always kind of a gamble. <laughs> oh, fact-checking. Yeah, as if people actually do that. Oh no, politics, no. Oh. Please, I, I don't I don't want people to get all Ugh. I I have my beliefs, but like man. I mean come on, you see what kind of games I play, so I think it should be pretty obvious what side I'm on. <laughs> you know who I am. You know who my partner is. I think that says enough. We don't need to really get into it. How did you become a... Uh, wait. How did you become ruler? How did you become ruler? <laughs> He's actually a ruler. A, a unit of measurement. Not a unit, but like a way to measure things. How did you become a ruler? I ate the one before me. Damn, bro. You did what? Human, it was a long day. I'm heading off to sleep and count my gold. 
We will see each other later. He yawns. The yellow portal appears. Wait! Couldn't we use your world to cross the barrier? I mean, open a portal from your world outside the mansion grounds? No, the old fart fucking thought of that too. This place is anchored now. All of my portals to this world come up under the barrier. Don't jerk off too much thinking about me. Wait for the real thing. I, I didn't! I mean, he did. <laughs> In the prologue. <laughs> Busted. I feel my cheeks heat up as I stare at his back. He steps through the portal, and I'm left alone in the weird forest. But I'm not in the mood for exploration anymore. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't just you, Empress. It was it was the uh, the poly... <laughs> the OT5, I guess? I don't know. I forgot. I lost count. But it was the group that I never get to see because it, it never... It, it's not gonna happen and it makes me sad. <sighs> If only the Kickstarter had hit the goal. I mean, we got we got blessed with like all these routes, but if only, if only. Polly Emery, it would have made me so happy. <laughs> oh, that's Binx's dream, y'all. To have to have a Polly route in like the majority of my Atome and BL games. A lot of them don't, of course. Because a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff, but I think a few do, and I'm like, I have to find those, because those would make me happy. Like, why can't they all just be happy together? Happiness all around, you know? <laughs> oh, share the love. Left alone in the weird forest. Not in the mood for exploration. Got it. My stomach rumbles. Should I go to the kitchen? Nah. I have a packed lunch I brought from home. I hate wasting food. Same, bro. Same. I feel you. You have no idea how angry I was during Steins Gate. Oh, I got so mad. There's, like, I don't want to spoil much, but I'll just say that they kept doing, like, experiments with bananas, and they kept wasting food, and it made me really mad. Like, really mad. <laughs> I loved Steins Gate so, so much, but that was like, <sighs> my pet peeve. <laughs> I hope I'll find my way back. Okay, uh, I think we should be good. Skip. Oh, so this is when the cute interaction with Hikmut. Unfortunately, we actually should um, skip it. I hate doing this, though, because it's really rude to throw it out the window. I hate that. It's like, why would you do that? He gave you a plant. But I guess at the moment, he's like, oh my god, is it going to explode? So, yeah. I grab the flower pot, yank the window open, and throw it outside. It breaks with a flat noise. The light slowly dies out. Aww. That was weird. I mean, to be fair, he thought it was going to explode, and it was kind of creepy. But that's sad. Like, poor Hikmet was like, what the hell, man? I was just giving you a plant. Like, dude, how could you? Alright. Uh, should be good. So he heard a noise in the middle of the night. So we're going to go check it out, because this is when he's going to bump into Embrus. But nothing new happened because uh, we've already seen his interaction with Embrus there. So this is new because it stopped. Huh. Where am I? Is this Grandpa's study? How did I get here? What the hell? Why is it all destroyed? Is someone crying? I see two little girls holding hands. Their heads are bowed, their little bodies shaking. They're standing above a middle-aged man. He's on his knees, his shoulders trembling with loud, desperate sobs. 
They're all blurred. Like something you'd catch in the corner of your eye. No, no, no! This is all your fault! What? Are you talking to me? One of the girls looks at me. I can't see her face clearly. But I think she's scowling. When she speaks, I take a step back and almost lose my balance. It's my aunt's voice. This is the path you want to take? There's only suffering here. Don't be stupid. Haven't you done enough damage already? I can't move. I stare at her as she comes closer. Her body growing. Outlines starting to change. A couple of seconds later, I look at myself. My reflection's mouth twists into a self-satisfied grin. Oh, but you are stupid, aren't you? You didn't even have the balls to spit it out. Tell your aunt where you're really going. First chance you get, you run away from responsibility. No, it's not like that. I had to do it. I, I had this dream and the letter I was going to visit just for a day. I didn't know I wouldn't be able to go back. And those creatures from my dream, they're real. They said I could be a, a master, a wizard. He laughs at me. A wizard? Weren't you supposed to become a doctor? Make your aunt proud? Yeah, I was. I mean, I'm going to, but... Do you think you're the hero? The protagonist of some epic tale? You think you're worthy of such destiny? Don't make me laugh. All you ever do is whine. I'm supposed to be in med school, but I stupidly came here. Now I can't get out, and Grandpa isn't even here. Where is the family that wouldn't have to force themselves to love me? Why doesn't anybody love me? Stop it. It's okay. You just need to accept the fact that you're a useless piece of trash. All empty inside. Continue doing what you're told. It's all you're good for, anyway. Wow. Inner saboteur. We all have one. What a jerk. He's hot, though. <laughs> Just like Alan. His reversed side, of course. But, like, damn. No, I'm not. You think you deserve love? After what you did. Stop! After you. Shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up. I wake up with a gasp. I jerk upright, my palms sweaty, my shirt clinging to my back. I can't stay here. I don't want to think about. I need to go somewhere. Anywhere. I stumble out of my room and drag myself through the corridors. Where am I going? How can I make that horrible, nauseating weight disappear from my chest? I just need... What do I need? I can't focus. I can't breathe. I need help. I need... Here we go. The choice already. Dang. Alright. Uh... That means I'm going to have to do editing. Oh, <laughs> we're here already. Ah, so. We've already had gentle light to soothe my pain. Hmm. Yeah, we're done with that. We are now going to have scorching fire to burn it all away. His amber eyes watching me. Wanting me. Those long, unforgiving claws on my skin. Sharp teeth against my neck. Mouth whispering in my ear what he'll do to me. I shiver. He won't be gentle, but I don't care. Pain and pleasure, I want it all. And power. I want it to ignite under my skin and fill up my insides. 
so much that I will never be empty again. With every step, my mind is calmer, my gait more steady. I know where I should go. It's a strange certainty, almost as if I could hear the harsh dragon's voice. Come to the place where I left you. Ah. The sun has set, but it's still bright in here. Every plant shines with a delicate greenish-blue hue. Glowing butterflies fly into the air, joining myriads of fireflies in their dance. I guess that's what you'd expect from a forest hidden behind a magic door. Very pretty. I walk between the trees and reach a small pond. Where are you, Embrace? Show yourself. Don't make me wait. He doesn't. The yellow circle appears before me, and Imbrus comes out. His mouth curves up in a smirk, but his amber eyes are a shade darker, watching me hungrily. Oh, here it comes. <gasps> Alan, you about to get it, bro. I see you've made up your mind. Took you long enough? Embrus. I run to him, trying to reach his face with my palms. But he catches my wrists. For a second we stare at each other. I think he's as surprised by my actions as I am. Not so fast. The bond isn't established yet. But I can feel it. I can feel you, and I want... He looks me in the eye, still holding my wrists and growls. I feel like prey in the hold of a hunter, yet all my instincts scream to get closer to him, to kiss him too. Oh, there goes the forest, well, rip. Then he combusts in the glorious, terrifying blaze of fire. My heart speeds up. Fear mixed with need. My dick doesn't care about the danger. I feel it hardening in my pants. Well, <laughs> oh no. Are you sure, human? Do you know what it means to bond with a dragon? Can you handle that? Can you handle me? He loosens his grip. I understand that I'm free to go. I gently touch his cheeks. The fire doesn't hurt me. I feel its warmth under my fingertips. He's a green flag disguised as a red flag, is the term I believe they use now. <laughs> I can handle you. Meanwhile, Farron was a red flag disguised as a green flag. <laughs> I can handle you. I need you. I want you. And I'm ready for whatever comes with you in my life. I press my lips to his. They're surprisingly delicate, but the kiss isn't. I hear a muffled growl, and his tongue pushes inside my mouth. His sharp teeth scrape against soft skin, drawing a bit of blood. Ouch. <laughs> that would hurt. I want you too, human. I am bonding with you. And there it is. Two wills joined as one. I gasp as the fire engulfs me. It slithers under my skin, and I feel its strength flowing through my veins. I can almost taste the power inside me. So what I'm probably going to do, I don't think I'm going to bother censoring the images ugh, as much as I would love to, and I'm sure they're hot. I'm just going to cut it out and jump and jump to the next part. Because you guys already know it's hot. Um, Alan's going to get it. <laughs> Empress is going to be really hot and dominant. And that's pretty much it. It's going to be spicy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's great. If you want to see it for yourself, you know what to do. Oh, 
All right, and we're back. So actually, I kind of changed my mind. So what I'll do, there there was one image that was didn't show much. So what I'll do is I'll just take a screenshot and um, just really censor it and uh, just show their faces to you because they look cute. <laughs> they look handsome. I mean, um, so I'll just do like like a five second just showing their faces and just so you could see how how gorgeous they looked. I won't, I won't describe anything, but that's all I'll show. Uh, I press my body to him and close my eyes. I can hear his breath calmer now, and it relaxes me. Makes me feel safe. Soon. Ooh, no. Don't make me sleepy. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, soon we both drift off to sleep. So they had a great time. This time, thankfully, it's dreamless. All right. Now you've bonded with a dragon. Good luck to you, bro. I wake up, and for a moment I freeze, not knowing where I am. Wait, is this my bedroom? Does this mean last night was just a dream? No, it happened. I know it did. I can still feel it in every inch of my body, the very core of my being. It has changed. Inside, there's him now, too. Uh, oh, this is the same. That's right. This is the end of the... And... Because this is the same exact... Because I remember I told you this is how it always ends if the... Um, if you play the... What's the name? Um, not promo. What's the name of when you just want to check it out without buying the game? Yeah, that. <laughs> I can't remember. God, I'm tired. Uh, shapely butt. Yeah. All right. And this is when he gets uh happy, and power, and then pain. Okay. And we know he's gonna collapse. He's in pain. Here we go. I wake up to the cold sensation of metal pressing against my face. Where... Where am I? A cage? What am I doing in a... Oh, down there? Why would he bring him there? The fuck was that, human? His yellow eyes pierce through me. I feel white-hot fury mixed with something else, but... It's too small to grasp. Those feelings, they're not mine. Somehow, I know they're his. Uh, what? Empress, what's going on? You tell me. First, you start screaming like you were being burned alive. Then you collapse and the whole mansion starts to shake up. What the hell did you do? I, I don't know. All I can remember is pain, fire, and light, and also emptiness. How long was I out? It felt like years. Years? Something must be really fucking wrong with your head. It was like 15 minutes. The shit was fucking nuts. A stream of raw energy just poured out of you, it made everything tremble. Even your fingers caught on fire. Too bad you lacked the control and strength of a dragon got burned pretty bad. So I grabbed you and threw you in the first safe place that came to mind. Concern? Confusion? It's no use. I can't identify it. His anger is much stronger. How the hell am I even feeling it? Those are his emotions. There's a sensation, like growing pressure inside my brain. Every time something's about to burst out, it's washed away by waves of cold energy coming from the metal bars. This cage, it blocks the pain. Is that why you put me in here? It blocks all magic, and that includes the masochistic shit you were doing to yourself. Ah. I wasn't. I... Thank you, Embers. That probably saved my life. He clears his throat. His gaze is calmer now, but I still feel the raging fire underneath. 
Don't you think it's time to explain yourself, human? Those were a hell of powerful bursts of energy coming out of someone who claims he's untrained. What? You still don't believe me? I swear, I don't know what happened. I... Creating even a mild earthquake requires fucking loads of energy, and you said you don't know how to gather it. I... If you're trying to trick me, you're going to regret it. And those burns on your hands will be the least of your worries. How many times do I have to tell you? I I'm not... It feels like something wants to come out of me, and... I don't... I don't know what to do. Oh, Poor Alan. He just wants to be comforted right now rather than accused. Oh, you poor thing. My words catch in my throat. Last night, I thought we had something. A connection based on more than some vague magic contract. But now, it's like I'm all alone again. Facing things I don't understand. Things that might kill me. Fuck. It would be so much easier if you were just a lying piece of shit. I'm sure it's a two-way street and you can feel what Alan is feeling, you jerk. <laughs> alright, alright. I believe you. So don't you dare cry, human. <laughs> Say, you soon today, you're like, oh shit, he's gonna cry. No, don't cry. <laughs> it's all unexpected and fucking weird, but we'll get through this. After all, you've bonded with the Great Red Dragon. Even if you're weak, even if you're unworthy, it is done. No harm will ever come your way. Don't you feel lucky? This laughter sounds forced. I take a couple of deep breaths. Seems like harm already came my way. What did you say? Look, I get that you don't really know what to do. You've never been a familiar, but it's okay. We can figure it out together if you just stop attacking me. The hell I don't know what to do! Don't insult me, human! There's nothing a red dragon can't accomplish! I simply... Oh, no, it's him. I simply need to use my superior intellect and skills to... Make you stop throwing energy around... somehow? Aha! Himbo. <laughs> Himbo! You're never gonna... <laughs> you're never gonna be able to escape the, uh... Himbo allegations, my bro. Yeah. Superior intellect and skill. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at Alan's face like, bro. I sigh. He'll never admit that he's as lost as me. Even if we both know it's all new for him, he'll pretend he can solve it without breaking a sweat. We're not going to get anywhere like this. The chamber doors open with a loud thwack. Well, I think we will leave that for the next episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.